So you want to become a software engineer, but you don't have a college degree or you do have a degree, but you don't know where to start. You don't know what to learn or what projects to even build. Well, no problem. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly what you need to do to start learning how to code and get a job as a software engineer, even if you don't have a college degree. My name is TJ and I'm a self-taught software engineer that teaches beginners like yourself how to code and helps them get jobs as software engineers. So make sure you watch this video all the way through so that you can see the final step that you should take that matters the most when it comes to the actual job interview process for software engineering jobs. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos like this because I have a lot more tips and advice to help you on your coding journey. Now, let's talk about how to get a job as a software engineer without a college degree. So the thing is, recruiters and hiring managers don't care if you have a college degree or not because they only care about two things. One, the projects on your coding portfolio, and two, your ability to explain the code that you wrote. That's it. But there's a few more things you need to do to help you prepare to get a job as a software engineer. So let's walk through this step by step. Step one, and I'm sure, I'm sure that you know this, but the first step is you need to start learning how to code. You can't become a software engineer without a degree if you don't know how to code. Even if you do have a degree, you still need to learn how to code in order to get a job as a software engineer. There's, <laughs> there's no way around that. So step one is to start learning to code and to help you to get started, I created a coding curriculum that's packed with tutorial videos and projects and practice problems. So make sure that you check the description below to get that coding curriculum so you can start learning how to code. Now let's talk about step two. Once you start learning to code, the next step is to start documenting your coding journey online. So one of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of beginners make is that they are learning to code by themselves and they're not sharing their progress with others and just in general they're not posting about their progress online now why is it important to document your progress as you're learning to code and post online well i give you three reasons one documenting your coding journey is a great way for you to look back on your progress and see how far you've come and how much you've grown it can also be really encouraging for times that you might doubt yourself while learning to code because you can look back and use those posts as inspiration. The second reason is you should document your coding journey online because sharing your progress might inspire other people to learn how to code or even encourage those that are struggling to keep going because they see you continue to push forward. The same way that you're watching my YouTube video right now, that's because posting YouTube videos is my way of documenting my journey and sharing helpful tips and advice to help other people learn to code. The third reason why you should document your coding journey online is an easy way to network with strangers because you never know who's watching. And a good story about this, back when I was still learning to code, I used to write blog posts about my coding journey and share it on my Twitter. And one day a random stranger that was following me on Twitter saw one of my blog posts and they started to keep track of my progress. And I was completely unaware until one day this person reached out to me on Twitter and said that they wanted to learn more about my coding journey because they've been following my post. Well, turns out this person was the CEO of a small software company and he gave me a job offer as a software engineer for $75,000 that day. So again, Step two is to start documenting your coding journey and sharing it online because it can help you in so many ways while at the same time, it can help you to help so many other people. That's why this is a very important part of my coding bootcamp because I have my students document their coding journey by writing a blog post at the end of every module. Matter of fact, I'm gonna share a blog post from one of the students in my coding bootcamp in the description so that you can see an example of what documenting your coding journey online actually looks like. So make sure you check the description below to see that blog post. Now, step three is to focus on building projects. Learning to code and becoming a software engineer is a hands-on process where you have to build stuff. You can't just watch a bunch of videos and do a bunch of tutorials and think you'll get it. You have to actually build stuff. The technologies that you're learning and the issues that you run into while building these projects are going to help you to build better problem solving skills and to just build more confidence as a software engineer 
once you start to figure out how to solve those issues. That's what software engineers do. So it's important that you build projects while learning to code. And to help you know what projects to build when learning to code, I've added a bunch of projects and practice problems to my coding curriculum. So make sure you check the description below so you can get the coding curriculum and start learning how to code with projects and practice problems to help you learn. Now, step four, start networking, okay? The best way to network so that you're not stressed and anxious about having to nervously walk up to random strangers and introduce yourself. The best way to avoid all of that and still network effectively is to volunteer. Yep, volunteer at different tech meetups and tech events. And all you have to do is email the organizer and ask them if they need volunteers. Tech events and meetups are always looking for volunteers. So this is a great way to impress the organizer who could serve as a great reference for you and since you're a volunteer at the event, it's a lot easier for you to meet people without the anxiety and nervousness because those people are gonna be approaching you to help them with the event. So that's gonna help you to connect with a lot more people. And most importantly, most tech events have a guest speaker that everyone is there to see, right? Well, if you're a volunteer, that means you have backstage access to the guest speaker. Matter of fact, you, you might even be the volunteer that's assigned to help the speaker get ready to go on stage, right? So make sure that you volunteer at tech events and meetups, both online and in person. Now, step five, this is the last and final step to help you learn to code and get a job as a software engineer without a college degree. But this is probably one of the most important steps, okay? So step five is to practice explaining code out loud. And so many people miss this. When you get to the interview process for a software engineering job, you're going to have to explain code out loud and a lot of beginners do poorly here because they just graduated from a coding boot camp or they've been learning to code on their own and they had no idea that they had to actually practice explaining code out loud. So they ended up showing up to the interview completely unprepared to do that. Make sure that you show up prepared to actually explain code out loud. And to help you start to practice that, I'm going to include a video of what practicing explaining code out loud actually looks like. So make sure you check the description to see that. And that's it. If you want to learn to code and become a software engineer with or without a college degree, make sure that you do these five steps. So one, start learning to code. Two, document your coding journey online and share it with others. Three, build projects and four volunteer at different tech events and meetups and five practice explaining your code out loud okay check the description below for all the resources that i mentioned in this video and if you really want to get far in your coding journey come learn to code with me as your mentor check out my website to learn more about my coding bootcamp, and check the description for more information